Good morning, welcome. This is my day 13 of demo using the, uh, I'm now on the AIO 15 layout. Now, why am I on AIO 15 instead of AIO 14? Well, here's the reason why. Number one is I'm using uh, essentially Brian's method of the 5 and the 40, the 5 year name 40. I'm still using the MACD of 612.9, but I've added the prime VLOT and the, and the prime in. And I'm only monitoring these four instruments, the Dow, the 30 year bond, the oil, and the gold. So uh, the reason I called it AIO15 is because I got rid of a lot of the studies that we no longer use. As you can see, there is no longer any jerks because we don't need jerks anymore uh, because this layout works without the jerks. And the other important change that has happened is that since we don't use jerks, we can load 15 days. That way Sierra chart loads up these charts way faster. And the other added benefit is the ability to be able to quickly change your time frame. Like here on the Dow, that's how the one minute looks. That's how the three minute looks. This is how the five minute looks. And this is how the 10 minute looks. So essentially, you could quickly check to see how the market is going to, uh, how the market looks, or the STO lines, the Song of Trading Oscillator lines, look quickly through the various time frames to give you an idea of what's going on with the market. Now the problem with the flexibility of being able to look at all the various time frames is you'll get yourself confused. Like I got myself confused this morning and got myself stuck on this sideways movement, unable to truly realize what's going on with the market. And the important part of trading with the STO lines is be always cognizant of what the prime is doing. The zero crosses of the primes are very significant because they define the trend. So therefore, here the prime zero crossed up. And yes, we are in a continued uptrend until the prime zero crosses down. Well, I failed to realize that and incurred a lot of um, minus 400 before I finally made this positive 270, uh, 203. Because once I realized that, then I just stayed in here and didn't get out until I had to at the zero cross of the prime. And then, of course, I took that short and, and made a little more and then promptly got out as, let me put this at the right time frame, as the, um, right, as the pin V lot crossed back up. Notice that I took a short here, got out. That's because I didn't want to have to deal with this sideways movement. And then once the 5 crossed down through the 40 and the bond here, I took another short and got out as the pin B lot crossed through the slow MACD or the color change of the pin B lot. So that's it. That, that's, that was the play for day 13. Production A made $203.75 in six fills. And this layout really works well. Just don't confuse yourselves as you switch through the various time frames. Make sure you really truly pay attention to where that prime is going and what it is doing. Because right now, uh, let's go to the very edge. Right now, the prime is still below the zero. So that means we are on continued down on the 30-year bond until that prime gets back up towards the zero again to cross up above 
as the trend changes. But since we're outside of the lower mids here with our primes, uh, we won't bother with this because this is going to be a, a slow uh, sideways down and you don't want to be in there. We're done. See you next time. Many blessings.